When a 24V power source is connected to this line, it passes through this point to the D terminal of the MOSFET. There's also a voltage divider through two 10K resistors, generating a 12V voltage. This voltage is then passed through the 10 ohms resistor to the G terminal of the MOSFET, turning on DS and allowing the load to operate. There's also a 0.1 ohm sampling resistor, R0, which creates a voltage drop across it, controlling the transistor. What's the purpose of controlling the transistor? When this voltage drop reaches 1.4V, D2 turns on, generating a voltage of 0.7V at this point. The transistor then turns on, causing the 12V voltage at point A to drop immediately to 0V, reaching the G terminal of the MOSFET. The MOSFET turns off, and after this, no current flows through RL. However, there's a 104 ohms capacitor at this point. These two capacitors prevent the 0.7V voltage originally charged to the capacitor from dissipating quickly, because of the 0.1F capacitor, which causes it to dissipate slowly. After a while, when the voltage drops below 0.7 volts, the transistor turns off, point A returns to 12 volts, and the MOSFET conducts again. After conducting, if the voltage at point B drops below 1.4 volts, it resumes normal operation. If it rises above 1.4 volts, it turns off again. It's a simple principle. So what is its current limit? When point B is 1.4 volts, we can calculate the current flowing through resistor R0. Using Ohm's law, U equals I times R. If U is 1.4 volts and R is 0.1 Ohm, we can calculate I equals 14 amperes. To change the current limit, simply change the resistance of R0.